video will show you how to install Firefox and add one of the best plugins they have, the uh, ad blocker. It'll stop all the banner ads, including Google AdWords. Uh, as you see here, all this other crap you have on the screen here, it blocks all of this. It blocks this ad. It blocks all of the ads. So this will help out to help speed up your uh, browsing. So go to www.getfirefox.com. This will take you to the website to download Firefox. And now you want to stay away from the eBay edition, the Canvas edition. Just you don't want any special edition. You want to roll your own Firefox. So just click download Firefox. It's free. So click that. You'll get a message. Do you want to save or run it? I would save it first. I never run from the internet, and I'm saving it to my temp folder. And it'll come down in just a few seconds. Thank God for cable, right? Super, super fast. And it's only five megabytes. It's a very small footprint for a browser. While that's downloading, you can actually take a look at the other stuff they have. Actually, no, it's already downloaded. Okay, I'm not sidetracked this time. I want to keep it kind of light on the uh, time this time instead of 20 minutes. All right, you click run. And it'll ask you, you sure you want to run it. Run it. Distracting. All right. Actually, I'm recording this on my second monitor. In case you wonder why I drag stuff over, this is actually my secondary monitor, and I'm dragging it over here to my primary monitor, back and forth. All right. So go through the setup. You accept the terms. Next. You want it standard. So hit next, and it does a little housekeeping. Uh, it wants me to close my Firefox, which I already have open. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that. Go ahead and reinstall it. And this might be a, a bad thing to do on my end because I already have it installed with plenty of plugins. And as you see, it takes very little time to actually install it. And once it's back up, just click finish and it'll launch Firefox. Did it start mine? Alright. My home page is actually iGoogle. iGoogle, and I can go in and I can customize it. This is my email address, which is also my uh, Gmail address. Um, I actually have a chat, jgar at Gmail as well, if you need to get a hold of me to ask me questions. Or you can go to silentjoe.com. Uh, so once this loads up, you can click up here. You want to go back to www.getfirefox.com. Now, what you're looking for here is add ons, right here. So, click add ons. And once it comes with the add ons, you want to actually click search right here. Type in add ad block. And the very first one, right here, or not the very first one, the second one, Add Block Plus. That is the one you want. Go down here and click, it's very simple with Firefox, just click Install Now. It'll pop a little window warning you that you're installing some software. Go down here, it says you should only install software from sources that you trust, and you should trust the Mozilla site. Uh, click Install Now. It does a quick install. Installing. And it tells you you have to restart to complete the installation. So click restart Firefox. So, all right, there it comes back up. Now, just to give you an idea, I will go ahead and turn it off. This is the Ad Block Plus right here, ABP. The big red stop sign is the stop. I'll go ahead and disable it for now. And we'll go to MySpace.com. As you see, add, add. There are tons of ads. There's add here, add here. You scroll down. Well, actually, they're pretty late today. Oh, right here's sponsored links. So what you do? Um, I'm gonna turn it back on so you can see what the difference is. Click enable it. I'm gonna refresh the page, and you'll notice the ads are gone. Even the sponsored links are gone. Um, even when you log in. 
all of the ads are gone. Quicker MySpace viewing, no pain in the rear end ads. I mean, there's some ads that's going to slip through, like right here it says MySpace jobs, but that's not, that's not really an ad. That's trying to show you a highlight for a new site. But the ad here is normally gone. Like the ad that's there normally is gone. Plus, when you go to your your page, your profile, and actually I can just go to my URL. There we go. It comes coming up. Notice the ads at the very top are now gone. They are no longer interfering with the, your page or viewing pleasure. And any ads you have that the site that MySpace has is gone. It gets rid of any advertisement on any website. If you see an advertisement you don't want, there actually is a little box that's called ad block. Um, can't think of anything that's not blocked. <laughs> but it has a little thing that says ad block on it. You can click on it and block that item. And it gets rid of the item. It's very simple to do, very easy to follow. Another few plugins else I would suggest is the Skype plugin if you have Skype. The uh, this is just called Scribefire. It actually lets you write blog posts inside the Firefox. S3 Fox, which you'll be using in another video I'm going to make. It opens the uh, Amazon S3 service web browser. This one right here is my Google Reader. It shows me what uh, I have, what unread items I have. And the cities you're seeing are actually uh, cities on Craigslist. I'm looking for additional work. This is uh, great for web developers. It shows you errors on JavaScript page, errors on the page, AdSense uh, stats, a quick little uh, to do list, today's reminders. This here shows you the uh, alerts for your area. This shows you the current map of the weather. This shows you the current weather right here shows you tomorrow's and shows you the following days so those are additional plugins all oh, plus also they have something called rover uh, blog rover they can actually go in and get uh, your blogs and they show them to you while you're you're surfing also they have this this is an awesome I said this is my last one stumble upon you go in and you find a site and you click I like it when you like it up oh, and I haven't done this to my site yet and I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel rating, but it's one great thing you click stumble. I should actually put this in another video. But you click stumble, and uh, boom, it takes you to a new website. Click stumble again, it takes you to another website. And what you do is you pick your interest, and all the uh, all the uh, sites come up depending on, on your actual interest. And if once you, if you like something that you stumble upon, click I like it. Um, but if you, as you notice, I'm, as I'm stumbling on these sites, every time I go to one, I don't see any advertisement. And that's what the whole point of the video is: is not seeing any advertisements. Uh, if you go here to uh, MSN, and if you'll notice all of the advertisements are gone all of them you see any advertisements on here I don't see any advertisements I mean I see the, the site advertisement that shows you what's new in the site but you notice there's no banner ads uh, same thing with Yahoo if you do Yahoo there's no advertisements it just gets rid of complete all of them so there you go. If you have any questions, you can visit my website, www.silentjoe.com. That's S I L E N T J O E.com. And uh, I have an instant messenger application on there called Plugu. Uh, you can talk to me right directly there, or you can actually go into my forums and post a message, and I'll reply ASAP. Or instant message me, or get me on MySpace, send me an email, whatever you want to do. And I'll try to help you out as best as I can. I'll see you later. Good luck.